Yes. A nine's eye is one of the most incredible sporting phenomena you can witness. Yes. He wants two 18s, 100,000 buyers. The composure, consistency and precision required to pull it off is simply unfathomable. As this channel is about football, a lot of you probably have no idea how darts works. So on a dartboard, there are 42 segments. You've got the numbers from 1 to 20 and the outer and inner ball, worth 25 and 50 points respectively. This outer ring means you double your number. So if your dart lands in double nine, it's two times nine, 18. The middle ring is the treble ring. So treble 13 is 13 times three, 39. Hitting a number in either this fat section here or this skinny section just gives you that single number. If you're outside all of these segments, you score zero. So both players start a leg of darts with 501 points. They each take their turn to throw three darts and the objective is to get down to zero. But your last dart needs to be a double, including the bullseye. So if you've got 10 left and you hit 15, you'll go bust and you need to try again next time. If you hit single 10, even though you're down to zero, you still go bust because you haven't finished on a double. The only way to finish this leg is to hit double five or another route like single two, double four. The smallest number of darts it's possible to finish a leg with is nine. And the most common way this is done is treble 20, treble 20, treble 20 on the first visit, three treble 20s again on the second, and that leaves you with 141, which is usually finished by going treble 20, treble 19, double 12. You can also go treble 17, treble 18, double 18 on the final visit, as John loaded, and there are actually 4,000 different ways to hit a nine darter, but only a small elite of darts players can actually claim to have done any of them in a televised event. If you haven't played much darts yourself, it might be difficult to appreciate how unbelievably difficult it is to actually hit a 9 darter. So let's try and figure out the actual likelihood of players with different skill levels pulling it off. So we can simulate a dart throw here using two normal distributions, one for the x-axis, left to right, and one for the y-axis, up and down. The mean of these distributions will be the x and y coordinates of the dart throw, and the standard deviation will represent the accuracy of the player. So an accuracy of 0.5 represents a 3 dart average of around 40, which is about an amateur level. An average of 80 is decent, but that's still not quite professional level, and 100 is the average of a top professional. So one problem with this simulation is that in real life, each dart throw isn't an independent event. So if you hit your target on your first dart, it's actually easier for your arm to follow the dart once you've already hit it. And also, darts can cover up targets, forcing you to switch. So hopefully these two factors will cancel each other out. If we let the three skill levels throw a few darts at the treble 20, we can then calculate the percentage of accurate throws. So a pro player will hit the treble 20 about 35% of the time, a decent player about 23%, and an amateur player only hits one out of every 20 darts. As the double segment is bigger, obviously the hit rate is going to be a little bit higher. So that's 38%, 27%, and 7%. So the chance of a player hitting a nine die is equal to the chance of them hitting three trebles, then another three trebles, and then two trebles, and then one double. So that's eight trebles and one double without missing a single dart. So for the pro player, we can take the treble likelihood, 35%, to the power of eight, multiplying it by the double likelihood, 38%, to get 0.009%, or roughly one in 10,000. So if you threw one leg every single minute, it would take an average of 166 hours to get a nine dart. That's seven days of non-stop throwing. So for your decent player, that's 0.23 to the power of eight times 0.27 or 0.0002%. That's one in 500,000. So at a leg a minute, that would take 8,333 hours or almost a year of non-stop throwing. And this just gets ridiculous when you get to the amateur player. So 0.05 to the power of 8 times 0.07 gives you 0.0000000002%. That's nine zeros. So that's one in 500 billion. If we got every single human who's ever lived to have a go, about 110 billion of us, assuming they all throw with about 40 average, you would still only have about a 20% chance that any one of them manages to hit a nine dart. And at one leg a minute, it would take 1 million years of constant throwing for you to hit one. That's 11,980 lifetimes. No one has ever managed to hit two nine darters in a row in any kind of official event. But Michael Van Gerwen came very close in 2017, where he threw 17 perfect darts, just missing the last double 12. The chance of a 100 average player managing two in a row is one in a 100 million. And the chance of a 40 average player doing it is one in 10 to the 21, which is only you know, the width, the width of our, our entire, entire galaxy, galaxy in meters. It would take 10 to the 15 years to hit one, which is 10,000 times the age of the universe.